Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Sunday evening. It is the Earth Master out here. Uh, 7.39 p.m. California time. March 9, 2025 is the date. Got, uh, you know, I, am I early? Where is it? <laughs> I just got a notification here on my phone of a, uh, well, a large earthquake around the Jan Mayan area. 6.8 earthquake here. Uh, so let's take a look and see what we got. I'm not seeing anything showing up here yet uh, across the area. It is, uh, it's is—it's weird because it just came in through the earthquake uh, app. Nothing through the USGS map. As far as the EMSC data goes, let's see. That would be north here of, of uh, Iceland. There it is. Okay, showing up there on the... Uh, EMSC model 6.6. That's a actually a rather large earthquake up there across the northern area of the plate boundary up there. Um, let's see if we got any signs of it. Normally, a large earthquake like that's going to trigger a uh, signal, but of course, I don't have anything right up there in that region. Some earthquake activity in Northern California right now. Let's take a look at that real quick. That's going to be a, a, a 3.2. A lot of activity stirring up here across Northern California recently. And, of course, the activity down south here in Southern California on the Malibu Coast Fault. It's a thrust fault that sits out here that's, uh, well, kicked up out of the blue today. 4.1 and numerous aftershocks there across the area. Watch that because historically, um, well, it's it. I think it has a lot of potential for some large earthquake activity up to a 7.5 around that area. Um, there it is. All right. USGS finally picking up on that 6.6 .6 way north here of Iceland. Man, I wouldn't doubt if that stirs things up out here across those, um, the rift boundaries. Iceland, of course, getting, uh, I think it's getting pretty close here to seeing another eruption. I, I don't recall the last time we've seen something of this magnitude up there. Um, let's see here. Well, it, it is on the plate boundary, uh, but far as that magnitude goes, that's, uh, let me go back over here and look at that real quick. We're going to pull up the historical model real quick. Um, yeah, 6.6. .6. I did get a report that it was a 6.8, but it looks like a little bit of a downgrade. I just want to look at historical data out here. Um, oh, we'll go back here in time and see what we have. And draw an area here north of Iceland. It's happening roughly here. You can see the, the plate boundary here in the oceanic crust. Uh, roughly right about there. If my calculations are correct. Let's see here. Yeah, right there where the 6.6 .6 struck. So our last six-pointer in this area, uh, a 6.7. Back in 2018, a little bit of time has passed here. 6.8 in 2012 couple sixes out there uh, but that's probably about as big as they get there's a 6.8 2012 uh, but normally we don't see anything above that because the type of boundary out here is not uh, you know well it's not capable of producing the the big earthquakes like we see in the subduction zones and the strike slip boundaries but that's a it's a decent earthquake uh, there is a tsunami statement but I guarantee you there's probably not going to be anything associated with it uh, 6.6 .6 east coast uh, no tsunami danger uh, due to this earthquake in the Jan Mayan Island region east of Greenland but that's a big one that's a decent earthquake that's good good possibility that could get things stirred up out here if we look at the general movement up here that's a spreading seafloor center I believe um, let me check out the oceanic crust boundary here. This might be a somewhat of a of a well, hard to tell. Some of these regions up here have a uh, spreading seafloor center. That's going to be this area up here, and uh, normally, normally that uh, does add further strain out here across North America area, also out here across the Eurasia plate. But uh, we'll see what happens with this earthquake. Either way, that's a that's a decent earthquake of a 6.6. .6, and I believe that's going to be, 
oh, the third or fourth largest earthquake so far. Let's see what we got here so far this year. Uh, since the first, of course, the 7.6 outside the Cayman Islands area. That takes the chart uh, for the largest earthquake so far this year. But let's just take a look here. Um, largest magnitude, 7.6. Georgetown, Cayman Islands area, 7.1 up around Tibet. Okay, 6.8 in Japan, 6.6. .6. The earthquake we just seen. That, so it takes it fourth earthquake. Fourth largest earthquake so far this year. Um, and there's been a number, 12 earthquakes. That's a, you know, a, a, a normal amount. If you think on any given year, look at this look at this chart right here. This gives you all the information you need on whether we're seeing elevated activity or, or not on any given year. So on any given year across the globe, we're expected to see 130 earthquakes on average between 6.0 and 6.9. 15 earthquakes of 7.0 to 7.9. And so far, we've had uh, two of them. So we're on schedule. No eight-pointers out here yet. But I think it's coming up here pretty soon. On average, we see at least one eight-pointer every year. If not every year, every other year. And check this out. Our last eight-pointer was back in 2021. So we're close. All right. Uh, I'm out of here, folks. Just wanted to cover that real quick on that earthquake. Uh, came in on my... Oh, it looks like they downgraded it a little bit there, 6.5. But that... Uh, like I say, we need to watch ice in there. That should stir things up out there. Uh, real quick recap here in Southern California, 4.1 on the Malibu Coast Fault. That area, uh, yeah, it's been quiet recently following movement across Hollywood, um, all over the place out here. This is the last area that's filled in here uh, in terms of recent activity. But last year, uh, numerous earthquakes were happening on the, that fault system as well, along with the rest of Southern California. So things are getting tight. They're getting compressed out here quite nicely. Uh, and in times like this, we need to be prepared. So just be on guard out there, folks. Uh, a lot going on out here across the uh, model. A uh, quick glance here at the trimmer map. I believe that should be up right now. Cascadia trimmer shows nothing going on. Zip zero, nada. So, all right. Um, wow, look at that. Uh, wait a minute. Japan, Turkey. Did an asteroid just hit the planet or something? Why would it be showing up like that? Hold on a second here. So that's a 6.5 way up here. Turkey sits down here. There's a couple thousand miles of distance here between Turkey and the uh, and that earthquake there. That looks like, unless there's a new earthquake coming in, Petrolia. Why would Petrolia pick up that big earthquake? No, there's something else coming in right now, I think. There's a much bigger earthquake somewhere out here. Otherwise, unless this is bigger, maybe it's bigger than the 6.5. But there's no way Petrolia over here across Northern California would be picking up, you know, uh, granted there's a 3.2, but that's not the 3.2 that I'm talking about there in Petrolia is right there a few minutes ago, right? But since then, there's there's a P wave that we normally see on earthquakes above 7.0. Japan even picking that up. So something big out here just happened. Um I think that's going to get upgraded. Let's take a look here real quick. It has been reviewed, but I don't believe that. I No way is a 6.5 P wave going to show up here across Japan. Unless something else has happened. A pretty deep earthquake there. Um around the Japan area recently, but I believe that's going to be this earthquake from earlier today. Or, yeah, but an hour or so ago. But uh, we normally don't see signals like that. Japan, Turkey. Look at that. That looks like a seven-pointer showing up there or higher. That's something you would see. Yeah, there's something else going on here, folks. Hold on a second. I'm not going to end up this, not going to end this update video yet you know 6.5 that's a decent sized earthquake but there's no way 
the P wave signal should show up that strongly here across the area of Turkey. Where or where could it be? So it looks like showed up Turkey first and then Japan. Right? Why would Japan pick it up? Here's Turkey. Japan's way over here. Even the further distance. But unless that's... Uh, no, I don't know. There's a bigger earthquake out here. <laughs> i got to wait a minute here because it's not making sense. Japan... Turkey first, but why Japan? Why so far away? You know, that's a that's a decent amount of distance there from Japan up to that 6.5. That's just a little on the odd side. I think that earthquake's going to get revised here. Yeah, see a signal like that looks like a seven pointer, maybe even maybe even higher. I'm not seeing any P waves anywhere else. Yellowstone, a couple of small earthquakes there. Um, but Japan. Interesting. Let me check the uh map here real quick. These guys still showing a 6.6. .6. Nothing else new. So, I, yeah, I don't know. It's just a little odd there. I think that's going to get reviewed, folks. You guys see what I'm saying? Because Turkey's right here. Obviously, say if this was a 7 point or 6.5 there in the area of, of uh, Jan Mayan region, it's possible. I mean... I don't know. I don't think a 6.5 would look like that, but it's possible the P wave and obvious S waves will show up. But there in Japan, uh, I don't know how that would be possible there. Just a little on the odd side. So, all right, folks, I'm going to bounce out of here. If something else uh, comes up, I'll update it here in the. Uh, update video but that's a either way a decent large earthquake i think it's going to get revised here we'll see what happens I, I mean i look at these signals a lot 24 7 here and and uh that's it's a long ways away from turkey and even a longer ways away from japan and for a 6.5 to show up like that that just doesn't make sense we'll see if these p waves or uh surface waves here travel uh, to even further distant stations and that in itself right there if it does happen and that makes me think that it's going to be uh, uh, an upgrade here has to be got to be a little bit bigger than that all right uh we'll cover this more a little bit later on this evening folks uh, just about eight o'clock here california time so not quite ready for a complete update but we will be monitoring the uptick out here have a good one. We'll catch you guys back here soon.